Good evening everyone, I am Obi-Wan, yes, that Obi-Wan, and welcome to St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Hope everybody's doing well, hope everybody's doing good. Championships and rivalries are on the line tonight, but let's get things started with the Women's Championship. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match, and it's for the WWE Women's Championship. Will it be Amaya's time in the sun? Winning last week against the women's champion Chloe Valentine and no thunder by her side as she is going solo this evening. And again, thank you for joining this evening as titles and rivalries are on the line, including the Intercontinental Championship as well as the World Tag Team Championships and so much more. It's going to be a massacre. And looking at the champion losing to one of the smallest ladies in the women's division, will she, along with DDP over on SmackDown, remain champions as they have held the title for two weeks? And going back to Chloe Valentine, she has finally the women's championship. She has it away from the LWO. The control over the women's division for the time being is in her hands. And I say that because at WrestleMania, I, I feel that she will run into a nightmare. That's all I'm saying. Introducing the champion from Chelsea, England. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Cody Valentine. And here we go, starting off the massacre with the Women's Championship. Will Chloe be a paper champion? A word to tribe celebrate, as this is what it's all about, the women's championship. As the referee calls for the bell, and here we go. And a leg sweep taking down one half of the tribe. And looking at the strategy, a game with Amaya, just keep the speed. With Chloe, I think it's more technical. Break down uh, one of her legs, maybe arms. Because again, look at what happened on Monday. Uh, Chloe Valentine is not in it. You know, she won the women's championship. Nice slap by Amaya going with a low kick. Yeah, she just, she's not in it. I don't know if it's a mental thing. I don't know that, you know, because of the celebration that she had at the Rumble into a German suplex with the bridge. I mean, she looks ready. She looks good. Nice punch. Amaya get it out the way. Amaya go with a low stomp and into the snapmare. And again, a knee to the back. Again, I'm also surprised for Chloe that you know Paige and Rain are not at ringside, and neither is Young Thunder. Again, a straight one-on-one -on -one matchup as Amaya picks Chloe back up. And what a right-hand punch as Chloe now throws Amaya into the turnbuckle and going for a double, I, I guess a double leg or a double drop kick. And here goes Chloe. 
And oh my god, what a move by Chloe Valentine. Her Karana turned into a DDT. Her Rana DDT, I think that's what the kids call it these days. And Valentine now connects. And what a Hurricane Rana. Diving style. Again, momentum has changed in order. As Chloe now uh, going for a spinny. Jawbreaker or TKO. Think I better let her go. And Chloe just set enough for the super kick. Again, not an Obi One super kick, but a super kick nonetheless. And that should be all over. Chloe into the cover. And just like that, it is all over. I'm not sure if it was a fluke on Monday, but again, a nice title defense by the new women's champion, and her reign will last and continue. Again, as we will be right back with more of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Again, we also have the WWE Championship DDP and Jake the Snake Roberts. Jeez, what a shot! And Austin and Diesel, Diesel, the Royal Rumble winner. And here comes the Texas Rattlesnake, again, continuing what he has done on Monday. Throws into a bunch of storage units. And again, these two cannot wait until WrestleMania. As Diesel now, go and connects with the neckbreaker. Uh, referee, aren't, I mean, aren't you supposed to, you know, do something? Anything. Again, kick to the gut. To the gut! Again, a hard throw by Diesel. Good reversal by Steve Austin. I'm not sure if it's athletic, but it works. And again, right hand shot by Diesel. And also, again, now just throw Diesel. And a clothesline taken down the Royal Rumble winner. You know, Austin now. Yeah, I'm watching you. Maybe. Trying to go with a right hand punch again. Good reversal by Big Daddy Cool. And again, multiple shots by Austin. Good reversal by Diesel. And again, is that Xavier and Renee Young? Austin with a still cheering hand. And again, another shot. With that steel chair. Wait, we, we gotta go now? What? You gotta go now? Now, man.
Can we get some cameras backstage? We need to find out what's going on between Stone Cold and Diesel. Yeah, sure. Good title defense, whatever. Can we get some cameras? What you mean, man? Don't make me have to go to the board of directors and super kick people. Ask Matt Hardy how did that feel. Ask Bray Wyatt how did that feel, that super kick out of nowhere. Ugh, nonetheless. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Michelle Alexander. Michelle Alexander has been trying to give vengeance on the LWO since returning back at the Royal Rumble and even eliminating Pristine Ramirez. And so far, it is not working even attacking many Ramirez backstage on Raw has fallen short and looking at the situation tonight three on one it is not good this is similar to what is going on over on NXT between Idrea the Giant and Platinum Plus only with them they are trying to get rid of the NXT Women's Championship away from her the situation between Michelle and the LWO is destruction of one another. And wait a minute. Finally. And finally, some help for Michelle. And see, it's times like these that for some reason, the Hollywood Blinds swoop in to help fight against the LWO. And the history between the Blinds and the LWO, especially with Rachel Michaels, as she was taken out last year. Things just got a little bit easier for Michelle, as now that 3-on-1 three turns into 3-on-3. Three three. But it's still an uphill battle when you go against all members, let alone any member of the LWO.
tornado rules are in effect. Referee calls for the bell, and here we go. And again, this is going to get chaotic. This is going to get wild. This is going to get crazy. And what a big boot. Take it down, Laida Vega. As we have Blake with Manny Ramirez. Laida Vega going up against Michelle Alexander. And Rachel Michaels going up against Pristine Ramirez. And you look at the elder. Well, what's what's Laida doing? Oh no, Laida into the stink face, and more humiliation for Michelle Alexander. Uh, well, I mean, uh, you know you're the ass man, Saint Jekyll. The hell. Nonetheless, Minnie and Blake on the outside. Meanwhile, on the inside of the ring, Rachel Michaels. Hard whips, and out goes Rachel Michaels. And more mayhem and chaos into the Samoan drop. Again, no countouts, no disqualifications. Victory by pinfall, submission, or knockout. Michelle now. What a right hand punch by Laeda, and a good reversal by Michelle. Head first into the ring, a uh, steel steps, pardon me. Getting easy for me to say, or hear. Good reversal by Rachel Michaels, trying to go with a low kick. Right hand punch by Pristine. Nice move by Mini Ramirez on Brittany Blake. And here it comes, Laida Vega. Again, the former women's champion with a dancing leg drop. What a flying floor on by Rachel Michaels. And a spear. And the spear connects by Michelle Alexander. Again, double knees to the gut. Meanwhile, around the apron. Blake trying to go with a right hand punch connects again a kick to the midsection also to the gut everything is to the damn gut and again it has all been the Hollywood blinds wait a minute Michelle and going is that a black mask that's awesome taking some notes from NXT. Again, we're reaching dangerous territory now. And what a scoop slam by Mini Ramirez. And again, Pristine throws Rachel Michaels back into the inside of the ring. As Michelle setting up for another spear. And what a move by Pristine. And spear connects. And the referee calls for the bell as Laida Vega is knocked out. And Michelle Alexander, along with the Hollywood Blondes, win. Here are your winners, Michelle Alexander, the Bombshell, Brittany Blake, and Perfect Ten, Rachel. And again, thanks to the Blondes, Michelle has gotten vengeance. Wait, what she's pointing at? Austin! Austin! It's Austin and Diesel. And this fight continues as Austin now shots back and forth between him and the Royal Rumble winner as Austin now throws Diesel and this is pretty dangerous for I, I should say Austin but it looks like he is in complete control right now and again referee and Austin now um, what is Austin doing Again, going into a throwback. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, where's Triple H? Where's Riz and Ramon? We're, we're bringing back the click. And Austin is confused right now. As I believe Shawn Michaels is right behind. And here comes Shawn Michaels and what a sweet champ music. Again, the band is back together. 
Again, Diesel going into the cover. And Diesel picks up the victory. And now, Shawn Michaels have to answer for the sins of what has happened at the massacre. Here is your Again, this is getting ridiculous. This is getting out of hand. Diesel, I, I guess, wins the brawl. Maybe. Still didn't win the title. As again, we will be right back with more of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Uh, Shawn Michaels, you, you don't understand who you pissed off. And again, Ken Diesel become the undisputed champion. This match could possibly steal the show this evening as we continue with the massacre. A few successful title defenses tonight from the women's champion Chloe Valentine as well as from those guys defending from Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. And the chaos between the undisputed champion and the Royal Rumble winner Diesel as well as vengeance for Michelle Alexander. And we still have this and the WWE Championship. Will Jake the Snake take the title away from DDP? Or will DDP step up in his first title defense? As we move on to the Intercontinental Championship between one of the all time greats, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah! And the new champ, Adam Cole, as Pete Dunne still recovering from that sledgehammer shot back at the Royal Rumble. And again, we also have to factor in Cedric Alexander. It's just Alexander's popping up out of nowhere now. But again, what is his connection as he sets his sights on the Intercontinental Championship? Introducing the challenger from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man, Randy Savage. Introducing the champion from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Adam Cole. 
And so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's all about, the Intercontinental Championship. Again, what a match this should be. Again, winner by pinfall, submission. No disqualifications, no countouts. Referee calls for the bell and here we go. As Randy starting off with a nice snap jab and into the scoop slam. Again, stop to the face. Again, we are we are just stopping out on cold. That's that's awesome. And Randy now with a right hand shot to the face. Some might say a sledgehammer like punch. As Cole now throws Savage into the into the corner. Turnbuckle. Yeah. And again, the strategy for both people as Cole now just focusing on the hand of the madness. See? So he can't point anymore. And again, Cole again in position. Again, multiple stumps again to the hand. And going into a quick cover and not even a one count. And again, I'm surprised that Adam Cole is holding his own. No undisputed arrow at ringside. And Cole going to the... What is that? An Indian deadlock? That's nice. Again, very technical in Adam Cole. And again, the early going is Adam Cole in complete control. Setting up and connects with a nice suplex. As Cole now throws Randy into the corner again and connects with a nice forearm. As again, Cole in complete control going back into the cover. And now, just a one count. Alright, so we're getting there. And again, stomp to the back to the shoulder area. And again, stomp to the face. And again, Cole into the grapple. And again, just messing with the number one contender. Cole now pick Randy back up. And Randy now trying to go for something good but first by Adam Cole. And I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if, you know, what has been dealing with, you know, champions in the past. You know, we seen in Chloe Valentine last week. It looks like tonight. What a brain buster by Adam Cole. And again, Randy Savage is really off his game this evening. Again, Cole trying to set up for the last call. And the shoulder tackle by Randy Savage. As Savage starting to get some momentum back, going into the head hold. Are you holding heads yet? That's Randy now. Picking Cole back up. And is that an eye break? Trying to go for something with his eyes. I'm, I'm not sure, but good reverse by Adam Cole getting out. And what a move by Adam Cole going back into the cover. One. And now another one count. And I think Cole's trying to set up for. Either that super kick, maybe that last call. And what a move by Randy Savage taking out the leg of the Intercontinental Champion as Randy goes back into the head hole. And now Randy goes into the cover in just a quick one count. Again, Savage picking Cole back up. Right hand punch, knocking him back to the ground. Randy, you kind of need to make up your mind. 
into a, a backbreaker. As Savage now trying to get somewhat momentum and connecting it into the neck breaker. And I think it's all said and done as Randy climbing up to the top rope, trying to go for the elbow. And what a super kick! See, I, I, I told you it's not an Obi Wan super kick. Gotta knock your ass out. Randy immediately got back up. He's like, I'm not selling for you, man. That's Randy now. Setting up. And a nice, tall, standing suplex. And Randy now, trying to go for the elbow yet again. Is Randy going to get it this time? He's in position. And a big body splash. Beautiful from the macho man. As Randy goes into the cover. Two. And a kick out. And Savage now. In complete control right now. And again, whoa, Adam Cole's reign come to an end. As again, Randy goes back into head holding. Maybe holding with the lovely leap. I don't know. I don't know. As Savage now on the outside trying to look for something. Maybe a weapon. Again, there's no count outs, no disqualifications. And Savage underneath the ring for a weapon. Got a steel chair, put it down, and went back into the inside of the ring. This is typical, I guess, legend problems. You know, we had the same situation with Jake the Snake. Dealing with a ladder a few weeks ago. With the in uh, former Intercontinental Champion and Pete Dunne. And what a super kick. And into the German suplex. And Adam Cole now setting up. Is he going for the last call? Going for the last call. In position. And the last call connects. And that is all over. As the referee goes into the cover. Two. Three. And just like that, Adam Cole wins. Retaining his title. Again, in his first title defense, Adam Cole survives, as we will be right back with the massacre. It's almost impossible to not have a nightmare at a massacre. And the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble and her path of destruction will continue to WrestleMania, along with Voodoo and the newest member of the undead, Wild Thing. As we take a look back on SmackDown, the Wild Thing making her debut against Peaches, making her submit when Bobby Barton made her return after a steel cage match with the Nightmare and injuring her throat using the death grip. And then Wild Thing using the mandible claw, causing further damage to the throat. But this is getting out of hand. And like I said for Barton, she should take some time and let her neck heal and regroup and come back focused and ready to fight against the undead. Fight against Voodoo. Fight against the wild thing. And fight against the nightmare. You know, vengeance is always the name of the game with the women in the WWE. It's survival of the fittest, and the undead are here for a long time coming.
you know, I, I have a very bad feeling about this. As Bobby Barton looking ready for a fight against the Wild Thing. This is an impromptu match because let's face it, who really wants to say no to the Nightmare? But going back to Barton, she is less than 100%, especially her neck as she has it wrapped up. And again, how much further damage can she do? Because now she will have problems breathing. You know, as much as I have an intense hatred for the referee, he really needs to watch Barton and calls for the match if she is in some serious trouble and referee I, I'm telling you right now you're in I think right now you really have to call this you know super kicks be damn you have another person and again this is going to get real ugly real fast as the wild thing now and again into the mandible claw Oh my, referee, come on now. Oh, this is not good for Barton. And again, Wild Thing just, just messing with the former women's champion. And jump, come on, ref. All right, come on now. We, we really need to call this. Referee, you have to do something. Something. And the nightmare and voodoo just watching. And again, this this could be initiation for Wild Thing. Again, dealing with that standing suplex. And again, referee, come on now. You you have to do something. Why are you just standing there, man? And Barton went a knee to the face. Trying to go with a stomp. And Barton getting out of that situation. Oh, and here comes the wild thing again. And what a power bomb. Corkscrew variation. And the wild thing. As Barton now. German suplex release form. And Barbara Barton just fighting, surviving, if you will. And a headbutt taken down. And come on now, this this is really getting out of hand. And wild thing. Again, what kind of voodoo was that? As a matter of fact, what kind of voodoo is that? Hold up. But nonetheless. And that's Wild Thing in complete control right now. Again, referee, you... I mean, I know you're young. I know you're inexperienced. And I... Whoa, shit. And Wild Thing again connecting with the Mandible Claw. Alright, this is enough. Come on, referee. And what's the wild thing doing? Oh, come on now. Come on now. You done enough. You done enough, wild thing. And get it rid and going back into another mandible claw. Alright, referee, can you call the damn match? Uh, wild Thing with a steel chair. And again, referee looking like an idiot. Like, oh, again, Sinjekel. Sinjekel, remind... Oh, oh, my God, no. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Wild Thing. Oh, my God. Come on now. Stop this. Stop this. Come on now. Oh, my God.
winner, Wild Thing. contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Trust me. I, I, I am lost at what we just saw with the undead and the actions of Wild Thing. You mean to tell me that the referee couldn't stop the damn match? when it was already out of control. And more importantly, Wild Thing took out a former women's champion by herself. Imagine what she could do to the rest of the roster. So Jack, what do you mean protect your neck? What, your woo? Your Rizzo? Your Jizzo? Nah, you met them. But let me refocus back on this is your main event of the evening, the WWE Championship between Jake the Snake Roberts and Diamond Dallas Page. Check your neck, man, you some bullshit. Will this be a one and done for the new WWE Champion? as he won it back at the Royal Rumble against Seth Rollins. And it really comes down to the finishers again for the match. DDP with the Diamond Cutter and Jake the Snake with the DDT. At the Rumble, it took two Diamond Cutters for DDP to win the title. For Jake the Snake, it took two DDTs for him to be the number one contender. Could it only take one to finally become champion? And this is going to be a good match again, ladies and gentlemen. This is your main event of the evening. Introducing the challenger from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 200. The Snake Roberts! Making his way to the ring from the Jersey Shore, weighing in at 248 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Diamond Dallas Payne! Could it be the last time that DDP is the WWE Champion? And could it be the first time that Jake the Snake Roberts is the WWE Champion? Man, again, re remind me to super kick the referee, Sinjaka. This, this is ridiculous. Referee calls for the bell and here we go. And again, immediately going into the Russian leg sweep by Jake the Snake, kick to the back. Again, I'm not sure if it's no disqualifications, no count outs, but I know that it is winner by pinfall or submission. You can keep kicking to the back and stomping. That's Jake, nice snap jab. And again, DDP, 
going with a hard Irish whip to the outside. And DDP is all fired up. And the referee does initiate the 10 count. Alright, so disqualifications are intact. And again, DDP going into a swinging neck breaker. What you want? Again, going back with a snap jab. And DDP throws Jake into the inside of the ring as the referee breaks the count. And going into a roll up. And referee at one. And now Jake the Snape going into another roll up. And then DDP back into another roll up. Again, a good, awesome sequence by both Jake the Snake and DDP. Who wants it more? As Jake throws Paige. And two, the turnbuckle in the close line taking down the WWE Champion. Jake going to the cover and just a one count. And again, who will get the momentum in this match? Nice kitchen sink by the snake. As Jake now trying to go for something, DDP with a kick to the gut and a flying close line taking down the number one contender. As now DDP goes into the cover. And again, just a one count. And DDP into the grapple right now. And again, trying to get the advantage. And going to the classic turnbuckles hit smash. Again, basic, but it works. As Paige now trying to go for something. Going with a leg sweep. Good reverse by Jake. And... Jake said enough for DDT. And could it be the one as Jake in position and the DDT connects. And it is all over. And we will probably have a new WWE Champion. Referee getting into position. Two. And a kick out. And the match continues. And again, referee was kind of out of position. But again, referees gonna referee. Good reversal and the leg strength of DDP getting out of that situation. And again, going to a hip check. Maybe I got you all in check. And again, back into the grapple. As Paige now starting to take control of the match. And over the top, but not on the apron. And the hip toss back into the inside of the ring. And again, a right hand punch. And keeping the WWE, I was going to say, keeping the WWE champion down. But yet, he got back up and back down again with a clothesline. And Jake the Snake climbing up to the top rope in position. And connects with the elbow as Jake goes into the cover. One, two, three. And just like that. It is all over and we have a new WWE Champion, Jake the Snake Roberts. He did it. He actually did it. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, Jake the Snake Roberts. We have a new WWE Champion as I am Obi-Wan. Take care from the massacre.